Hi guys, I've spent the last 10 days in Europe picking up gear for my expedition to Mount Everest and I wanted to give you a little overview of what kind of equipment comes along for a two-month expedition to the highest mountain in the world. As you can see, it's not a lot. Weight is always an issue on high altitude expeditions and therefore we only carry with us what we absolutely need. In terms of clothing, the key is layering. So we need to carry with us clothing that can be worn as layers and be added or removed as required by the temperatures on the mountain. What I'm wearing now is what I'll be starting the trip with. So I'll trek to base camp on relatively thin trekking pants and a windproof jacket. And as we reach base camp on Everest, which is about 5,500 meters, we'll start using down jackets like this and down pants which will keep us warm in temperatures which often fall to about minus 20 at base camp level. Higher up on the mountain, especially on the summit day, we need to wear thick uh, down suits like this to keep us warm. This is specifically designed for high altitude mountaineering. It's an all-in-one suit um, and not something you're going to find in your local sporting goods store, but it's crucial for staying warm on the mountain. In terms of footwear, we wear, especially higher up on the mountain, double boots. So the inner boot looks like this and the outer boot like this. Um, and it's a high boot with fabric on the outside that basically protects the boot from snow and ice getting inside your boot and making your feet wet, which can be a big, big problem on the mountain. In addition, on the summit day, We'll wear a little technological innovation, a little insole that has metal wires going through it. And those wires will be heated by a battery pack like this. The battery pack will attach to your, at the back of your boot and keep your feet warm for the entire 8 or 10 hours um, where we'll be exposed to very cold temperatures. In addition, we'll use crampons like this, which basically attached to the bottom of the boot and give us grip on the snow and ice uh, higher up on the mountain. In terms of uh, gloves, on the summit day we wear thin liner gloves. On top of those an inner mitten like this and then a waterproof outer mitten like, like this. So three layers of gloves. The reason why we wear mittens is that they do give us a little bit less grip than a, than a proper glove, but separation of fingers leaves the fingers much, much more exposed and increases the risk of, uh, of uh, cold injuries in your hands. On the summit day, we also use a little bit extra. So we use these chemical hand warmers inside the gloves. So despite wearing three layers of gloves, you still need a chemical hand warmer like this. It basically has two types of chemicals inside. When mixed, they generate heat and these will stay warm for about eight hours. Um, and make sure that I return to Dubai with all ten fingers intact. A couple of other pieces of equipment I just want to highlight. Um, higher up on the mountain, we get exposed to a lot of sun. Um, and, and hence, little pieces like this, a nose guard, are very, very critical in making sure you don't get uh, sunburned, which combined with the cold weather can easily lead to uh, cold injuries again. And I have some bad memories myself of, of first uh, sunburning my nose and then freezing it, and it's not a, not a comfortable thing, so this kind, this kind of nose guard will be critical on the mountain. Another interesting item I'll be testing on Everest is this um, camera, which I'll either attach to myself or to my Sherpa, and hope to be able to capture some interesting footage for you guys, especially on the summit day. On the mountain, we often have a lot of free time as well. So it's critical to carry with you an iPod with some music, um, some audiobooks, some movies, keep you entertained. And I also carry a little uh, uh, solar panel to make sure that the iPod stays, stays powered up at all times, even higher up on the mountain. In addition to all this um, tailor-made equipment to the mountains, I also carry with me some of my favorite candies. 
It may seem like an odd thing, but higher up on the mountain it's very common to lose your appetite and hence the best way to battle that is to carry with you something that you really like and something you can eat even when you're not hungry. So I carry my favorite candies. They keep me, give me energy and they also keep my morale up higher up on the mountain. So lots of fancy equipment, but oftentimes the most critical piece of equipment might be something pretty simple. I call this air conditioning tape and I carry it with me on every expedition. It's come in handy in the past in terms of fixing tents, fixing down jackets, fixing sleeping bags, etc. So it's going to travel with me to Everest as well and it might turn out to be the most critical piece of the, of the trip once again.